Hey everyone, the following video is going to show you how to create a basic website, very basic, really from start to finish, just to show you how to kind of organize and make sure that your pages are all linked together and working and functioning as one unit, as one web page. All right, so whenever creating a first web page, you know, the first page is always called your index. So I'm going to go to File, New, and what I'm going to do is I am going to create an HTML play page. I'm going to click Create. And the first thing I want to do is I want to save it. Always want to save a page when I first open it up. I'm going to go to the file save. I've created this folder on my desktop called website. So I'll just put it there and I'm going to call this index.html. First page is always index. And then I always use .html extension to save. So index.html. Now I'm not going to really put anything on this page. You can see I'm in the split design view. That's kind of what I prefer. Um, split and design in that I can see it. You know, if I want to choose where I am on the page, I can do that. But basically what I want to do right now is I want to be able to, sh so you can see the code and show you the main page. All right, so let's start creating our page. So just going to act like this is a main site. I'm going to act like I put a bunch of great content here that people want to see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little section here that's called links. And I'm going to say page one, page two. All right. And now I haven't created page one and page two yet. So let's do that. So let's first save this page. And I'm going to go to File, New. And I'm going to create a new page. And I will call this page two. And I'm not going to put any content on it. I'm just going to say links home, page one, right? Because I don't want to link to page two. And I'm going to create, I'm going to save it, file, save as, and this will be called, oops, did I do that right? Yes, page one, page two. All right, so this one will be called page two, and then I'll create page one. I guess I did that in reverse. And I'm going to label this page two dot HTML. Notice how there are no spaces or anything when I'm typing that, when I'm saving it. No spaces. So I'm creating this page two, and now I'm going to create page one. I guess I did it in reverse. I'm going to go to file, new, HTML page, create. And let's create page one. I'll create my links and I'm going to say home page, page two. Okay, now let's save this one. This is going to be page one. Again, I'm going to say page one dot HTML. Again, no, uh, no spaces or anything. I'm going to save it. And let's just slide these over so it's organized correctly now. Okay, so we have an index page page one, page two. What I want to do is I want to link these all together. All right, so to link them all together, I'm going to go to my index first. I'm going to select page one here. Make sure your properties is open. If not, go to window, properties, open it up. Um, sometimes in the new Dreamweaver, your properties is like over here, or hidden down below here. I just simply drag it over just so I can move it around. I like to see it and have it kind of out in front of me. All right, so I'm going to select my page one. And all that I'm going to do is I'm going to say page one dot HTML. The link should now work. Notice how it turned into a link. For page two, I'm going to do the same thing. But for page two, I'm going to actually select this folder and browse for a file. Since I'm, it, I've already saved all my pages in this folder called website, it's going to open up right there. And I'm just going to select page two. So that's two different ways to get your link. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to do the same thing for page one and page two. This one is going to link to home. So home page is index. Your home page is always index.html. And now I'm going to link to page two. Save it. And now let's go to page two and do the same thing. We're going to go to home which is index, and we're going to go to page one. Save it, and now let's test. I'm going to open up my folder. I'm going to go to my index. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to open this with Google Chrome. So if I were to publish this on the web right now, this is what it would look like. Obviously, you know, I didn't spend time designing this. I'm trying to show you how to start 
and link everything together and get ready for publishing. So if I click page one, look, it goes to my page one. Let's go back to home. If I click page two, goes to page two and I could go to page one, I could go home, but all the sites are connected together and navigating. So from here, I could do all kinds of things. You know, if I go back to Dreamweaver, I could add buttons instead of these and have next and back buttons and have users go through a number of pages that I've created, have an index page, you know, have a page with all kinds of different links on it. I could start to get really creative with just the idea of linking multiple pages together. And now I'm ready to publish. How do you publish? That's not for this video. The reason why there are so many different ways to publish. You could be publishing to a server, which is what I sometimes have my students do, um, like a, a, a server we have on campus. Um, I could have you publish to a shared server somewhere, like if you bought your own website, which I also do in some of my classes, students buy their own website and publish to that server. Um, sometimes you're just publishing in, internally on your desktop or something like that. Or you might be using FTP to get it on a server. You might be going through some control panel to get it on a server, a number of different ways, but you're ready for that step. Thank you.